the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. Every year, two to three million migratory birds make Northern California their winter home. Most flock to the Central Valley, making UC Davis an ideal location for studying them. The Central Valley of California supports 20% of all of North America's migratory waterfowl population during winter. So one-fifth of all the waterfowl in the states overwinter here in the Central Valley. And, and what we do, by and large, is we manage the habitat. That's, that's really what we can do for them. California has lost over 90% of its natural wetlands, more than any other state. This means that many migratory birds spend the winter on flooded agricultural land. By taking nearly 4,000 core samples from the wetland areas in the Central Valley, biologists discovered far less food than they expected. Birds eat a combination of seeds, plants, and invertebrates. The research revealed that an acre produced just an average of 500 pounds of food. I would say that wetlands in California are currently providing valuable habitat to waterfowl, but there could be a crunch. If waterfowl populations increase and wetland management does not follow along uh, and produce increased food production in those wetlands, there could be a bottleneck sometime in the future. Researchers say adjusting management practices are important in producing more food per acre. In some cases, it may not be possible to acquire more habitat, so the second stage is let's put into place management practices that can try to enhance the habitat that we have. Edie says the answer may be when to irrigate the fields. Reporting from Yolo County, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.